I mean, I'll, I can just leave this on and turn my camera off or something. I, I don't know what to do to keep it moving. If you were, oh, do you? Like if I leave the meeting, then it's not gonna record anymore. Well, look at the participant list. Um, doesn't it show that I, I'm recording as well? Yes. And I didn't do a thing. I didn't touch record or click anything. Okay. I think you perfect. Can um, do you guys have any other questions for me today? Nope. Do you all right? Yeah. Do you know how wonderful you are and what a big help you've been to us? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Have a good meeting and all I'll right. see you Wednesday at 5 45. Great. Hey, see you then. Thank Thanks, you Jennifer. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Somebody email me if I close it down for everybody by accident somehow, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. I think it's here we are. Do we want to share screen so we can go like section by section to go over the comments and stuff? Uh sure. You want me to do that? Do you want me to? Oh, I could do that. Um... And you'll have to type in all the changes we make. Okay. So for the for the title page and the graphics on it. I looked at the Northampton report and the other ones, the way that they're like branded and colored, I can do all of that after this meeting. So if we can just finalize the actual content, I can go back and put all of that in. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Well, my job like subscribes to this, this app called Canva and it really just does it all for you. And you can just brand it in the colors you want and stuff like that. So now when I see stuff, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <Canva."> <laughs> nice. But first off, though, I do want to say great work, Russ. I mean, this is awesome that you did all this work, putting it together. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. That, that was really good. I, I had a little time, and I kind of got on a roll and just kept going. <laughs> so. Glad you were you were able to. You fe glad you were you felt inspired. <laughs> I, I really did. You know, that's what happened. I, Sometimes I can't make myself right, and sometimes it, it comes. So good, excellent. So we could read over it, I guess, section by section, and see if there's anything we want to add. One thing that I want to talk about talk about with both of you before we start, Miss um, Walker and I had a conversation yesterday about what the town has done for racial equity in general. And um, I don't know if it belongs in this report, but there have been a lot of similar groups, like the Community Safety Working Group, with the goal of making Amherst a more equitable place. And these are groups that put together reports. They've hired consultants similar to what we, we have done. And it really hasn't gone anywhere. I'm wondering how you guys feel about this being included in the report. Yeah, I guess, uh, so I, I think it would, it would depend on how, you know, if it's to kind of um, put it in a place where it's like more like a historical context or something like that, you know, like, okay, this has been the history, this is what has happened in the past, but then to kind of say, but now here we are, and this was something that you all asked to happen, so we're hoping that this will have a different outcome, you know, if it's something like that, I think, you know, I would be. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not unwilling, I, I kind of like sort of saying, hey, it, it's a new day. Everything has changed since, I mean, we, we know this has all been going on forever, but people have a new awareness since George Floyd's murder. And we've got very concrete recommendations. There. And, I, and I think there's a, a public outcry out there. I think the, the defund group, the reparations group, these groups are all gonna advocate for our proposals being implemented. 
Okay. I mean, I think for me, like on a, like historically, I think that was what I was talking about. Like I wanted to put it in the report because I thought it deserved a place just to kind of hold the town council and Amherst accountable to yeah. take our recommendations seriously. Cause I yeah. think since the murder of George Floyd, a lot of things, not a lot, but there has been a push towards social justice, but this push has happened before and it hasn't yeah. gone anywhere. And I just want to make sure that that's reiterated is this work has taken place before and nothing has happened. And we're hoping that there's a different outcome. So so I can find a way to incorporate that after this meeting. Yeah, I mean, there are two places we could put it. We could put it in the context and perspectives, or we could put it in that closing piece where I kind of call on them to move forward with, with vigor. Okay, the right. Yeah, yeah I, yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing to include it. Like I said, I think we can have, I think it could be a, a win-win, like in terms of, you know, putting the historical com context, right, in terms of there's been other attempts in the past, but then say, but well, yes, we're here, and I think that this time things are going to happen. Because unfortunately, Russ, I mean, just because, you know, what happened with George Floyd, I don't know if it's such a new day. You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> I think it's still the new, same day, but we're hopeful that there's a new day. Only be a new day. On yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it will only be a new day if people make it a new day. Exactly. So oh, that's yeah. the part that I'm like, mm, yeah. you know. okay, good. Let's let's oh. include that then. Yeah, oh. I'm gonna just scroll down then and add that to the closing comments for a note for myself to go back and put that. Okay. Yeah, I can see that as a brief second paragraph between the these two that are here. So do you guys want me to go over the places where there's comments or should we just take it section by section on where we can add improvement? Um, I think, you know, because me, I want to kind of be tasky and stuff. So can we just kind of go to areas where we have like comments and stuff? Yeah. I mean, that's what I would prefer. What what, what would you prefer, Russ? Uh, that's fine with me. There may be a couple things I want to particularly ask for your feedback on, but yeah, but I mean, definitely, I think wherever we, we ask questions or whatever, let's stop and talk about it. I, I'm just thinking in terms of, you know, not going too much into the details well, if there's nothing to change. Yeah, well, let's make sure that we have put in everything that you had, Deborah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I had I had questions too and things like that. So I think some of it were, were, were some questions. Follow. Let me pull up the original one because I think this is the one that Russ sent me. Sorry. But mine was in the track changes, so I don't know how that kind of um transfers into Google Docs. So it transferred in like comments. Russ, do you want to screen share instead of me just because of me being on Google Docs, just so we can move this along? I'm sorry. Because I do know that it is a little bit like the way it translates is different. Oh, I uh, know. Can we see? Oh, here. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, showed up. Yeah, let's see if we can work from this. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Yeah, it showed up. Perfect. So this is the first comment that Deborah had. Mm -hmm. So basically, yeah, I just, you know, kind of made some edits there. And then um, let me see. Oh, yeah, that, it was just the whole thing about the surveys. <laughs> I'm asking, did someone uh, or did or 7Gen going to, to incorporate those? Because I do think that it is an important part. To I, I think it's important. We'll do. We'll. I think we should make a space. Mention it and make a space for it. And you know, 
Whether yeah, but I guess, true. but I guess when you say that though, I mean, do we know like how many surveys we did get? Because I know that, I, I guess for me, my assumption was that Seven Gen was going to be looking at that information and then just bringing us whatever the summary was from it, so that then we could incorporate it. You see what I'm saying? But now I guess, no. let's say if we don't put any pressure on them to do it, how are we going to do it with, you know, the time? Jennifer told me there were about forty responses. She thought. Okay. And she had sent it to D. Mm -hmm. She had even asked for it, I think, and she'd sent it to D. But yeah. She's now sent that to Miss Pat. So, um, so one way or another, we'll get something and get it. So in we here. will. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because so that would be important. Yeah. And what I'm, were you going to say? Fine. So I okay. did. I did reach out to Seven Gen about it just because um, me and Miss Walker. Paul wanted to just touch base with us to see if we we're okay with moving the invoices forward. And at first we were curious as to where the information with the houseless data went and the surveys. And after I touched base with Dr. Shabazz, she let me know that um, the way that we worded the survey was really hard for her team to use toward their reports and collect like some sort of summary. And we didn't do a good job at um, being inclusive with our asks of families in town and what they want to see in that type of thing. And I think that's why she sent us that email as a group this morning. Yeah, I mean, I get it, but I mean, my thing is just okay. I mean, you know, I, I guess we're not going to quibble. It's, so, you know, how how are we going to be able? So, is Miss Pat going to kind of review the surveys Ms. and Pat get the is, summaries? Miss Pat is going to try it, and she has okay. to might take a look at it after she put it together, and I'll I'll try to do that. Okay, all right, and okay. I'm fine with this suggestion of Deborah's here. Okay. Okay. And we just accept all of those. Yeah. And page and then, numbers. Page what numbers. a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a, I don't I know some people like to do the fancy page numbers. I just did the simple one so that like this if we had to refer back when we talk. Well, and then that one I just added, I just added a date. That was it of when we met. You, you wanted to reveal it was at the last minute? <laughs> That's funny. Hey, I, we don't have to be ashamed. That's fine. No, we, we've done well. No, we have. And I still think we, we need to talk to them again before we do the, the second report, you know? Yeah. And so the one way I had more of a, of a, of a, um, Kind of, you know, and as you all saw the, the time that I was doing it, because unfortunately my mom ended up getting sick and having to go to the hospital. So that's why I ended up oh, doing dear. it. That yeah. I mean, she's back. She's back she home. Okay? Yeah, she's back home, but it was a weekend of going to the hospitals back and forth. So, oh, um, yeah. So, um, but anyway, so what I was, what I was thinking is just that, you know, how you had said, you know, the list of black, of black people killed by police just in, in the last decade is long and horrifying. So I was just trying to kind of, you know, you know, put in some of the I, I actual names. I love know? it. I think it's a great yeah. improvement. Yeah, and it was crazy because when I was going through that, I mean, all of these people that I put, they were they were just like you said, the last, you know, you know, you know, not the, this decade in terms of like obviously we're in a 2020 and 2021, but it was like from 2014 up to now and most of them was in 2020 and 2021 the yeah. folks that were killed so it's really it was really like oh my god i'm glad that you put black indigenous and people of color because sometimes white people don't know what bipoc stands yeah for. yeah to have that in my work should there be a <laughs> comma after, should there be a comma after black uh, I'm not sure. I, I I've seen all different types of things. I've seen slashes. I've seen all sorts of stuff. But but whatever. I think whatever we want to go with, it'll be fine. Okay. Do we want to go with the commas? Well, I, I think we're only doing this once. The rest of the time, we'll write BIPOC. Okay. Cool. I was just thinking in the where it's where we where we spell it out. Yeah, I'm fine. Do you want to add a comma, Brianna? Just yeah. put black comma indigenous. Yeah. Another thing that might be helpful to um, for the end of this, the Amherst Town Council in December of 2020 
I believe they put out a statement about how they want to dismantle white supremacy. So maybe we end our contact or end this with that. Like we're mm-hmm. proud of the town of Amherst is participating and asking these questions and leave a quote just to like reinforce that accountability. Oh, that would be really good. Yeah. The, the best, I took a look at it today. The best quote in my mind is actually the uh, title of the document. What's the title? Um, let's see. I had it up here a minute ago. It, it's on it's on the other Google Doc, right? Oh, on this one, yeah. I I I put it in here, right, right right where you're doing it. I think I put in the title on the other one. Let me just look on this one to make sure that I Deborah, I put all of your corrections on this Google Doc. I just like approved all of them, but we still should go through this one. Um I'm yeah, yeah. That. Like go through okay. the other one. Yeah, with the with the comments. I think that's better. Yeah. Okay. Add town council dismantled. And then this number, yes. For sure. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we know there's always going to be little typos. That one over there, I'm not sure if you wanted to. I, I was just saying, I was just thinking it was missing something. So I don't know if we should add community members, but then that seems like then we say it again, community members. So I always have that question when using the term <laughs> BIPOC. You know, yeah. If you read it as people of color, mm-hmm. you know, but it, I don't know. So I'm fine with it like that. But the other one, the number three, I was just, I wasn't sure where you were going with that, Russ. So increasing the power and the voice of BIPOC community members and making decisions and setting directions in town in any and all areas, and especially where issues of equity are present. Setting directions in town? Yeah. Um, I guess it's, I guess what I'm really talking about is goals. Okay. You know, I, I realize there's a, another organization I'm a part of where we, we thought setting a direction means heading people in a particular direction or getting mm-hmm. people thinking and moving in that direction. But um, increasing the power and voice of BIPOC community members and making decisions. And, and setting goals. Setting goals in all areas and especially where issues of equity are present. Yeah. And setting goals we- for the town. That sounds a little bit wordy. What if we put um, increasing the efficacy of BIPOC leaders to promote racial equity in town practices? Well, I like the, well, I do like the increasing the power and voice of BIPOC community, but like decisions, I like kind of the specificity of it. I mean, maybe we don't have to, to do the goal. Let's just, take, let's just take out the second phrase. Yeah. Okay. That's, take out the end. Because I do like the fact that what we're saying is that we want BIPOC community members in the, in the decision making, you know? Yeah, just take out the highlighted part. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, making decisions and then, you know, yep, that's good. Deborah, am I right that you're a former director of? Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Yeah, that was one of my roles. Yep. I had fun writing that list of all the identities we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I, when I was reading it, I was like, "Wow, we have a lot of diversity in our midst." Oh, here, wait, wait, wait. There's a place just here where I, I, you know, I gave references to some of the more traditional ones. I thought I should have a, a link for the defund stuff as well. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure whether that's that's the movement for Black Lives. So I included the the defund four one three um, police data from the summer in the chart that you were talking about. I found it. It's in the other one in the footnote. Oh, in a oh, footnote. Okay. Where did you want to add it though? Just down under recommendations about best practices. Mm-hmm. You see where they're right near the bottom is in big caps. I have is this the oh, best that- citation.
did you want to just put like their what they do or did you want the the ones specifically to the um stops i thought i thought here just leave the link okay but I, if if you all had some better online summary of no that's uh, that looks good to me yeah okay let's use because i had i had I had looked at it when we were doing our research and everything too. So yeah, take out the caps and leave the link then. Mm -hmm. And then there's our survey data. Oh, and I then I added here, we should also put in here the police data. Oh, from the end. You said you. This, I can show you the well, link that we found. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that in terms of the police data. How would we add it? Though? That's definitely in the contract for them to do as well. But mm -hmm. I haven't seen it yet. Nope. Russ, this was the link that I thought you were looking for. Um, but I could be wrong. This was the um, the this default was, 413. Oh, the 413 yeah, Amherst. This yeah. is quite an article they wrote. Yeah, but yes, this is the chart I was talking about. I, I don't know whether we got more information than this from the police or not. We got something similar, but I think we got like a, a lot more of those charts. Like this one is just one. Yeah. So I'm just going to add a note um, to connect with Dr. Shabazz about the police data. Yeah. But anyway, but it should be another section here, police okay. data, and then we'll, in my opinion, you know, survey okay. data, police data. So, so I mean, that's the thing, though. I think, I, I don't know if they did, because I had asked that question when they had done the report, the report that they presented on last week, in my comments to them, I asked them about that, especially. I said, so where's the data that, that goes towards the APD? And then she responded to me. She was like, what are you talking about? And then I responded back. I was like, the data that we that we collected from the APD, did you all include it in the thing? But then I never heard back. <laughs> I, somebody may, Brianna, you and Alicia may need to go through that contract very carefully with them because there are a number of things that, uh, I mean, that because that's definitely in the contract. Mm -hmm. Police data? Yeah. Because, it was, yeah, the two ones that we wanted them to, to look at was the survey and the police data, you know, because okay. obviously we knew we, we were doing everything else and it was going to be too much time for us to look at that intently. And they have the expertise, too, with the Terry, especially with his right. data analysis and stuff. That was, that was the whole thing was Terry. Mm -hmm. was gonna, and we mentioned that to him very early on, too. Yeah. I can reach out to Dr. Shabazz and have that conversation. I think it would also be helpful to have like the police data on the, the racialized stops and policies that need to change to support our work. Mm -hmm. well, policies is really the second. The second part, that would be the second part. part. We have got the month of June to do that. But the data, yeah, but the part, the, 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 stop, the stops, yeah. Mm -hmm. All of that would be good. Okay. I'll reach out to her after this meeting. Um, now, one question I had here, you know, if you're going to do some um, graphics and all, is whether we wanted to take a few of the direct quotes and sprinkle them in here as well. I don't think we want to try to do everything, but I wondered if we might want a couple of quotes. We can, and one, one of my thoughts was that when Miss Pat or whoever looks at the surveys is we can pull some of the quotes out of there. But also mm -hmm. I, I'm, I wasn't sure if that's problematic with public record or whatever. Well, I think I think as long as we kind of just take the quotes but not identify folks and things like that, you know? Yeah, I, I, I think, think that would be fine. Because I think that was the reason why we weren't, why I remember um, Jennifer didn't want to share it with us for us to review it but was because of the public records. But I think if we're only taking quotes and not identifying anyone, then we should be okay. I think what I'd like, um, uh, Russ, would be if we do have quotes from the surveys, then we kind of sprinkle it in here because because remember the other quotes are going to be in their report you know right. so that would be kind of repetitive it would be good to have like some fresh be great if have some in the surveys yeah yeah and i like your edits here
So did you want to put just make a note there, Brianna, that if we get some of um, some of the information from the surveys, then we can uh, try to get some quotes yeah. to put in that section. And I think it'd be okay for them to be like sort of boxed. They don't have to fit into the text. They could just be. Yeah, I mean, like with the graphic, with the um, Canva templates, we could always put it on like the side or the bottom so that when whoever's yeah. reading the report, that's like what jumps out to them. It's mm. first that, and then here's the information on everything. Right. Good. Oh, that would be really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I know that, Russ, that you, you were asking about that, like traffic violations and stuff like that. So that's why I'm, I'm asking about that too, again, over here. Is it, are we being strategic in terms of not including noise complaints or traffic violations here? Um, my feeling was we haven't really talked about traffic violations mm -hmm. and that that really, are, I want to have a long conversation about that because I think it's a big area to take away from the police, but I'm not sure that mental health social workers are the best people to so, handle, necessarily handle traffic violations. One of the things um, that, oh. I said, I intentionally said including here, and I because then it just leaves it out there that there might be others that we're going to add. Yeah, that right? was, that was my intention was to, and we could put in etc. or yeah, I just wanted to be because I mean. I think you're right about that, but yeah, but for me, you're right. I think we need to have a, a, a big conversation about that because for me, traffic violations are, are where a lot of times the police get, you know, they intimidate oh, and they yeah. do a lot of things that they're not supposed to do uh, against, um, you know, BIPOC uh, folks. So so for me, I'm really concerned about the police still continuing with, with, with traffic violations. Um, well, and the noise complaints and the noise complaints, I'm like, you know, again, these are areas that they can be, it, they could still be unarmed people that are de-escalating well, situations. I would say let's put noise complaints in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then traffic, I think I have in the list of things that yeah, we're going to discuss. Okay. So we can leave it for that. Mm -hmm. And then is, is there a problem with wellness? Or was that just to... No, no, that was just to highlight. Yeah, that was it. Okay. <laughs> I just was wanted to highlight. Yeah. Good. Oh, I added text for both of these. So I'll just go to switch over to the other document and we can read okay. it really quick. Great. Or let me. I thought I did one on the diversity, equity, inclusion. I'm just going to re pull up my email. Oh, so while we're waiting for that, though, the, my other question and my comment was what about the rental assistance and the transition housing for folks who are houseless? Because remember, those were also in our recommendations. So I was, I think that we should talk about that at our next meeting because Miss Pat at the last meeting had kind of alluded that she was happy with what was happening and the work that was being done around rental assistance and that type of thing. But I also am curious just to go back and double check that that's the case and that we shouldn't add that in here. Well, I guess like for me, so we didn't add, add that as any part of our recommendations then in terms of budget considerations. Did we do that or did we not? No, that wasn't in the, the budget committee didn't include anything there. Oh, okay, around rental or, or transition for- I think that's right. Ms. Pat did appreciate the town manager setting up a committee to study okay. uh, houselessness. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's why I was asking that question because I wasn't sure about it. So 
So then the only ones that we need to focus on is the, the Department of Diversity, Equity, Inclusion and the Youth Center and the Multicultural Center then, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I guess I didn't, I'm sorry. I thought I wrote a, a small section on the Department of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Let me just triple check again, I'm sorry. No, take your time. Um, I recently started taking this diversity, equity, and inclusion like certificate course. So I kind of incorporated some stuff that I've been learning there. Mm -hmm. For me, I mean, I had put that in terms of Ms. Pat just because I know she had like some specific ideas <laughs> around it, you know? <laughs> like that, that seemed to be like her vision, you know? Yeah, there's some, you have some language in the Google Doc that we first started with. Russ, would you mind pulling that up? I can't find it, I'm sorry. Okay, let me. I apologize. Okay, got it here. So can you see this? Yep, yeah. we can see it. Yep, there it is. Do you guys think that there, that's enough for the diverse, the Department of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, or should we add more? I think the only thing that we might want to do, because I think there was some language, though, right, when we had... Um, done either the budget. I, I, I'm just thinking like maybe we could just look at that to see if there's anything else to add to it. Okay. In terms of, of that, you know, the, the vision that we had had in regards to it. That's my only thought. I'm just, gonna... just to make sure we're not leaving anything out. Yeah. Deborah, were you part of the budget subcommittee that met? No, no, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. Was Alicia, Miss Pat, and me? Oh, Brianna, you were there. Yeah, yeah. So I think the I think, and I will clarify at our next meeting. I'll put it. I'm just gonna put a note so I don't forget. Well, actually, remember we are gonna send this out to them tomorrow, uh, oh. or even yeah, like or you know. Right. Yeah. Or even tonight, if all the uh, all the edits oh, are made, yeah, the then they can they can add they can add to it too, you know. Because I'm looking well, at my well, spreadsheet right now, and all we have is a director and an assistant director. And I assumed that um, when Miss Pat, me, and Miss Walker came up with this, that we assumed that these positions would be housed in town hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, one little edit. You know, the how willing the last sentence willing the town is to welcoming that. Maybe how open the town is to welcoming that. Okay. Or how willing it is to welcome that. Okay. Oh, let's see. This is my screen. Is my changing it here going to help any? Yeah. Is that all right? Mm hmm. Right, let's read through this. Mm -hmm. 
I just there's just a, a TO that needs to be so the way where it says the purpose of the youth center is to give BIPOC youth a voice. Um, I like this point up above. It's actually in the second sentence, but the uh, I would take out the little data illustrates and just say this alone. The reason why I said the, the reason why I said the little data little data illustrates that be, is because I thought Terry's presentation to us was really. Um, interesting for me because I was so invested in Crest, but then to find out that other alternative safety programs aren't really solving racial equity on their own. So I just kind of wanted to translate that into the first couple of sentence of this, sentences of this, because I didn't want the town council or others to read this and think like, this is an extra thing. Like, I think the community, the alternative community safety is important, but it's not going to fix all of this on its own. All right. Well, can I take out the word little? Yeah. It's really data illustrates. This alone will not be sufficient. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what don't they like about this? What they like about this? Oh, I think I put a double comma in that in that second sentence. Excellent. Oh, all set with that? Well, I thought the cultural center was also going to be kind of a place to showcase the different cultures also, because now it seems like it's more so just, and not just, but it's a crisis center, uh, but I thought it was also going to be like. So I put at the front to promote BIPOC culture, but we could also add into that like first sentence more mm -hmm. on that, because that, that was the vision, that is the vision. Yeah. A place to promote BIPOC culture. Um, let me pull up the exact wording from this pad. Yeah. Because I think we don't want to lose that part too. So that it's also a celebration of, of families and cultures in, uh, in the area. Yeah. As well as, because sometimes we always just deal with like the issues and not the celebratory aspect. Okay, yeah, so um, to promote BIPOC culture, so showcase um, by uh, Ms. Pat put BIPOC museum and help plan holiday celebrations while mobilizing organizations in the Amherst area that can be utilized to bridge the support in BIPOC families and provide case management. Mm -hmm.
Oh, so she said museum? Yeah. Can you read the language again? Like this, a rest can, can include it? Yeah. Um, so the BIPOC Cultural Community Center is to promote BIPOC culture, showcase a BIPOC uh, museum, help plan certain holidays. So let's, yeah, let's stop there. It could showcase the BIPOC museum, help plan. Um, certain holiday celebrations. And what was the last one? Um, and mobilize all organizations in the Amherst area that can be utilized to support BIPOC families, which I think we did have that. And then it goes to list the educational services, job opportunities, food security. Yeah, yeah. and then that we have, yeah. Yeah. We sit there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. And again, you know, I think if there's anything else that some of the other members want to add, they can add to it. Yeah. Now, this next piece, we, you know, we got a recommendation from the seven gen folks, but we haven't actually talked about this very much. But it did seem to me it needed to be a recommendation that stood on its own. Can we go back to um, my comments? Because I had a comment on that one. Oh. Can you bring those up, Brianna? Yeah. You're going to be able to merge these two documents? Yeah. Because I think it goes to what you were saying, Russ. I mean, because I'm, I'm talking more about, you know, number five um, after, you know, C. Point C, you know, our current recommendation is to reduce the size of the department gradually to achieve a 50% reduction. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we probably need to discuss it because for me, I was kind of like, I would rather, because I know that that's what um, Seven Gen had, had put, it, that they put that as their recommendation, their report. But for me, I was kind of like, you know, I would rather be something like our current recommendation is to reduce the number of the police to equate to the actual number of calls that they will be responding to after fully funded and fully resourced crisis instituted. Um, because, you know, as opposed to just being like, okay, by FY26, 50% reduction, when we don't know, it might be the, the, the reduction might happen a lot more quickly. Um, well, how would you? I'm comfortable with this statement. Yeah, it would be, but so what I was saying would be pretty much just for that first paragraph. The other one in terms of the, the UMass police, you know, I don't know about, because, you know, I don't think we haven't discussed that at all. So I don't know you know, what you wanted to do with that. So my um, comment was more so about that, that first paragraph in terms of kind of that reduction to 50% reduction by FY26. So would you take out all reference to 50%? I mean, I'm not in agreement with that. <laughs> I think I know that that's what 7Gen recommended in the report, but that's not anything that I would recommend, but so maybe what we could do is like bring that up for people to discuss. So maybe we need to discuss it. If Cress only, if Cress only took 40% of the calls, would you only want a 40% reduction? Yeah, I mean, I think we got to go to, we have to go by what we're, we're going to be working on. And, but I think it's going to be more though, uh, especially if we get, you know, noise complaints in and, uh, traffic violations at some point, we'll see what happens with that. I doubt if it's going to be 40%, but yeah, I guess 
<laughs> it, because remember, what they're going to be left with is going to be violent crime. And and there's some violent crime, but I don't think there's a lot of violent crime in Amherst. There's not, there's not that much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm good with your sentence, except equate to the number of calls. Is it proportional to the actual number of calls? Yeah, maybe proportional. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what I was. We don't, we don't want as many police as they get calls. No. <laughs> Are we comfortable with keeping this second part? Because I, I do think that um, bringing up that there's multiple police forces in Amherst is important. So they don't, whoever reads this doesn't look at it and think like, oh, we're, sitting, we're defunding the police entirely. Like this program is going to account for the for the calls the police would account for. And additionally, if needed, Amherst PD, it does work in collaboration with the UMass Police Department, the Amherst College Police Department, and the Hampshire College Police Department. So it's not like Amherst won't have any police officers. Yeah, let's just replace the first paragraph and leave the second one. Okay. I just know there's somebody who's going to go, well, what happens when we get a big demonstration or when there's an emergency or da -da -da -da. But they always bring uh, police from, you know, they, they always, when there's, they bring stadies in, they bring in this, they bring in that, they bring in folks from everywhere, you know? Yeah. Oh, were you gonna change it to proportional? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Proportionate. Yeah, yeah, please. I spell that wrong. Proportionate, yeah. A current recommendation is. Okay. Where are you? Uh, I think they can take out the two before that word. Reduce the number of police proportionate to the actual number of calls that would be responding. Should we add um, the Amherst College and the Hampshire College or no? Well, there's already, there's been new paper, newspaper articles about students pushing Amherst College to do away with its police department. And Hampshire's is so small. I would stick with UMass, everybody. Okay. And more in the center of town. Yeah. If somebody's offended about Hampshire being left out, we can <laughs> <laughs> we can easily agree to it. So, what what was your question here about the the highlight um, on number six? So, continue. Oh, so it was just that bottom part that I added. We recommend that the CSWG be paid a stipend commensurate with the amount of work that they will be doing, and basically to say, kind of like you know, I guess we'll, we're gonna have to talk about it to see if everyone's on board with that too, that that there is a CSWG that, that's continual. Because I don't think we really have talked about that. It was, no, it was one of uh, Jennifer Moyston's recommendations originally. Mm -hmm. And then I know Stevens Jen also put it in their yeah, report too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm saying we'll probably just have to talk about it to make sure everyone's on board, you know? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm in agreement, especially if, like I said, if they actually pay members, whomever, you know, decides to do it. The, the... Now, now you're talking big budget impact though. That was one of the things I talked with. Even how, the boss was, even how hard we work. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if it deserves a place in this, but one of the things I talked with Dr. Shabazz about was for our, our presentation to really outline to the town council how much work has gone into this, how long our meetings are, how many hours we've put in on educating ourselves on this topic, reading papers, going to webinars, that type of thing. Um, yeah. We could add that to the final report, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that wouldn't be a bad thing oh, to, to so add okay. at some point. Some of that's in there, but. But I think to, to say it with some feeling about how much work we put in. I'll put a note here because I'm interested to like go back and see how many hours we did. I think to them, they I, to the town council, I think they're assuming that we just do the two hours every week, but we always <laughs> go over the subcommittees are meeting. Like we've well, put in a lot of work. And like you said, all the research that we've done. In the they webinars. And, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure when they created it, they did not expect us to meet every week. No. Yeah. 
and for the amount of time that we do, because like you said, usually it's it's more than two hours. It's like two and a half, sometimes three hours. And we're attending town council meetings to stay on top of how the town's feeling about our stuff. Like there's a lot that goes into it. Mm -hmm. And just if this group needs to continue, I would just hope that they would pay members enough to do it. Mm -hmm. So I think this was honestly a volunteer position. Yeah. Because that's how they, that's how you lose people though. And that's why like when we do end up talking about the oversight board, they'd have to consider that too, because you're gonna lose people if you don't. Now, what are you gonna say, Ross? I think this, I cut you off. This section I mostly made up, this anticipated areas to be addressed. Some of these are things I wanna make sure we talk about. Um, mm -hmm. But I, so I, I really wanted to check with you that it's okay that we've got these here. Well, I think for me, that's what I had. Um, oh, I thought I had written that in there. But like I said, it was two o'clock in the morning. So uh, <laughs> when I was working on this. But um, yeah, I think that this whole area over here, we probably need to, to kind of discuss some of it, right? As a group, yeah. For me, one of the questions I had for you, Russ, was when you say racial diversity in the APD, I just don't like change the racial demographics, but also defund them. I think this might be tricky. Um, yeah, I, I guess my thought is that people will be surprised if we haven't actually looked at more at the racial makeup of the force and recommended diversifying it. Um, but you're right, diversifying and um, reducing the size is can be hard to do together. Yeah, I think we could only do that after after the size has been, you know. Okay. But it just seemed to me maybe we should have some recommendation about it. I think also like um, diversifying their the, um, outreach pool. That was a little bit concerning to me to read that like they recommend police positions to friends and family because that just promotes a culture of no accountability mm -hmm. in my mind. Because if you're working with your best friends and your brother and all these people so close to you, are you going to hold them accountable when people call in complaints? Oh, and that's mm -hmm. another thing. Um, how we're going to move over or what we're going to do with complaints against the police. But yeah, I'll accept Deborah's edit there. I like that one. This next to the last one, what I found out was that when other departments come in doing mutual aid, they abide by their own policies, not by the Amherst policies. So if we have a good reduction of uh, use of force policy, but the other department doesn't, they're allowed to function on the basis of their policy. And I mm -hmm. think we should be negotiating if UMass is going to be a primary mutual aid partner, we should be negotiating that UMass police need to follow the Amherst town of Amherst policies when they're engaged in mutual aid. I agree. I think too, like a lot, just going to the listening forum, like a lot of people did have some stuff to say about UMass PD. Are we good with all of this? The anticipated areas? Well, wait, what had you, what did you say though about like the complaints? You uh, wanted to add that? Yeah, I think I should add that under the resident oversight board. Maybe we yeah. could put the complaints there. Okay. Yeah, I think like when we do send the draft out to the group, maybe we can say that the anticipated areas it might be an area where we, we need to kind of talk as a group. Uh, Brianna, there, there exists currently a possibility to make complaints to the Human Rights Commission, so. Oh, okay. Okay. What if we just put a Go wait. Include, including well, the handling of complaints about the police? Yeah, because I think, though, the thing with it, though, Russ, and I guess maybe you can explain it to me, it's just that it seems like 
people really feel kind of like one intimidated about filing complaints, you know, about the police, or they feel like the they they're not really clear about what the process is. Yep. I mean, I think that's right. the thing. Yeah, th this board would have to do a whole outreach thing, but I think that's right. Yeah, including, I think we could just put a comma where there's a period and say, including the handling of complaints about the police. Okay. About police behavior. So are we good with this section now? Yeah, I'm fine with it. I got the word exhausting in it up there. See in that in my closing mm -hmm. comments. Yeah, that was good. The closing comments were really good. So I know that they, they said that they're going to be doing something in terms of one report in regards to part A, part B. But I was thinking like um, with my comment there to have like we should definitely include the, the alternatives um, portion and the oversight board. Um, I mean, oversight is for later, but the alternatives here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah why don't we take out the Part B thing that's, that's highlighted? Delete that, and just report from seven Jan. Well, I think, I mean, what I heard Deborah say is relevant portions. Yeah, I think it's going to be relevant portions. It might not be the whole thing. I think once they send us a, a report, then we can kind of title it appropriately, you know, but at least that could be a placeholder mm -hmm. for now. Yeah, because number two and number three there are really one item at this point, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it seems like it's going to be. Um, for the resources, is this resources that we just use as a group or? Well, you know, maybe we don't need that because, I mean, if if we wanted to list newspaper articles about sample, pro, you know, other alternative programs, I, I had a thought that this would be like a little bibliography of people who wanted to learn more. But then I ended up putting some links in uh, but this would be a place anybody could list anything that they thought the town council might benefit from reading. Okay, we'll just leave that then and see what the group has yeah, to say. I mean, if, if we end up with nothing to put there, then we. <laughs> we <can laughs> um, I did get a chance to write out the um, the budget at the bottom, like not in Google, in the Google Excel or the Google Sheets. I just wanted to triple check, Deborah, do you know that if the full-time community responders, we agreed as a group for 16, right? It might be just one of those things we have to run by everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, because I think we had. We had nine at first, so I wasn't sure if it was 16 yeah. or 18. Because we had said we wanted at least two more was it but yeah we have to check it because what because miss pat was the one that kind of sent in the final one right yeah yeah so we should check with her just to make sure it would be good to have a little text explaining you know why 16 mm -hmm. you know as it's you know this this is how many you need to have to cover two shifts for the busy hours and one shift for the not busy you know whatever whatever it is just a little explanation of of that did you all see that they they had um uh, if, um article about us on Amherst Bulletin? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. We're famous. <laughs> I, thought was, I thought it was good. It got uh, got people uh, 
prepared for some bigger numbers than they might have been ready for. I know. That's what I thought. I thought it was more so about, and look at the budget. <laughs> look at the bottom line. Um, one thing that I can do, the budget committee, me, Miss Pat, and Miss Walker all worked on like these budget notes that kind of, Russ, what you said, like go line by line and explain where we got each thing from and the budget from. I can work on expanding those to add that to the report. All right. Well, I, I wouldn't go crazy over it, but you okay. to have some. Especially, I think maybe like, you know, the, the big parts, right? Like the 16, why 16? I don't think we, you need to put it on everything, but. You know, I think maybe the, the the positions, you know, like the director, assistant director, maybe if there's a little something there, then you can put it. Okay, sounds but good. It doesn't have to be on every item. Right, I would agree. But that looks good though. Okay, sounds good. So I can compile all of our edits into one and send it over to Ms. Moiston and the group can take a look at it. Do you guys want me to add the graphics before or after we send it to Ms. Moiston? I think that it might be easier for people to edit it like this. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. And then you can do the- The graphics, yeah. Yeah, the graphics. Can you do graphics like just for the cover page or something? Just to... Yeah. Just to show just people, to just to give an idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. People have some idea of what what you're planning. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, I can do that. So I think we're good. All right, go team, go. Perfect. <laughs> Great team. Yeah. And look, it's like we're only six minutes over what we said. <laughs> we are getting the spread. <laughs> Um, are you guys coming to the town council meeting at 6 30? I'm not. I've no. <laughs> okay. But, uh, I, I have kids that I need to go cook for. <laughs> but if you cook dinner. if you find out where the town where the town manager's budget is available, please yeah. email us. Okay, definitely. Yeah. I don't Jennifer said it wouldn't be public until he presents it to town council about 6 30 or 6 45 tonight. Good. Yeah, I'm interested to see it, and I'm hoping that he left enough money for our recommendations, given that he's had some time in advance to see where we were headed and our specific and specific recommendations. But just trying to stay positive. Yeah, definitely let us know, Brianna. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put all of the edits together, like merge them so that all the documents are the same. And I'm gonna put a cover page too, and sort of an end page and send that to Ms. Moisten and then she can send that out to the group tomorrow. Okay. Will it still be a Google Doc? Um, so I don't have Microsoft. So if you guys think that it would be more helpful to have it as a Word document, what I can do is put all of the edits in a Google Doc and Russ, if you could just convert it to a word, I apologize. Let's just, let's just do it as a Google. Yeah, just do it as Google. That's okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and send us, send us the link so we know which one is the final because we now have several of them. Oh, okay, sounds good. <laughs> oh, Brianna, one quick thing though with Google because I don't use Google Docs too much. So if I do want to do like comments, because I know you can write in and that's when I've been able to kind of, so if I do comments, how does it save it? Because I know I've lost um, comments that I made on Google Docs. Is there any trick to that? Um, so on Google, if you like highlight the word and then when you kind of like right click, there's a plus sign and you add a comment, the only way that it gets resolved is if somebody else touches the document and approves your comment. That's the only way it disappears. And you can track it by going to the top and there's like a little thing that says, see original changes and it will tell you who approved the comment. Oh, okay. If, missed it. if that was helpful. I know I talk very fast. No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Highlight, highlight, right click or control click in Mac. Mm -hmm. Then you can put in a comment. Okay. Ah. Good, yeah. I, yeah, because I, I was wondering about that. I didn't know how to make comments. That's great. Oh, thank you guys for working on Google Docs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks it. for teaching us. Really. No problem. <laughs> okay, well, I need to get going. I have to eat. Thank you guys so okay. much for all of the work. Um, and I'll oh, do all the graphics and whatnot, and we'll have that out to the group tomorrow.
Yay. Thank you all. Mm -hmm. Bye. Good team. Good team. Bye.